Hello guys, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at task 16F. The question says, open the file rainfall.csv, create an appropriate graph or chart to show a comparison of rainfall and average temperatures for each month in only town A. Okay. So first of all, um, let's open rainfall.csv. So I want to go to my chapter 16 folder. We want to open room 4. So I want to first of all save this as task 16F. Um, I want to save it inside um, my work folder, chapter 16 task folder. I want to save it as workbook. So I want to say task 16, sorry, task 16F here. I want to save it right there. I want to ensure that all my data um, is showing select everything here double click here so we want to select uh, all the date and then rainfall for town a and then hold on our control key you want to select the temperature average temperature for town a also you want to go to insert this time around we want to use the combo chart here so that it will allow us to make some a comparison so we want to create we want to go to custom now, if you take a look at this, you will see that um, the, the orange line represents the temperature while the, the blue bars represent the rainfall. Okay, so I think the best uh, chart will be the line chart for both, um, for both uh, values. So I'm going to click this. Um, the next thing I want to do, I want to create a second um, secondary axis for the rainfall. Sorry, the the temperature, the temperature, average temperature. Okay. So as you can see, it will go up and then come down if you compare the values here. Okay. It will go up from it will go from minus one. And then go up to 12, 20, 22, and then goes down to 3 or thereabouts. Okay. So I think uh, that's appropriate. So we can OK this. We can OK this. Now, the next thing I want to do, if you look at the series here, it's supposed to represent the orange line, supposed to represent the, that's the series 2, it's supposed to represent the series 2. So we want to make sure. That is done so right click and then go to select data you want to click on that series 2 and then it did that so we want it to be for the temperature so we want to click on that and then okay that so also for the series 1 we want it to represent the rainfall and then I uh, want to click right there also and then okay everything so it's looking good it's looking good for us now the next thing I want to do is, if you look at the blue line here that represents uh, the rainfall, you see that it stopped at somewhere like 240. If you look at the uh, the values here, so if you look at the line here, it stops at 240. Okay, so we want to actually arrange the value at the this axis here. So I want to just double click. I want to. I want to also click on it and then go to this axis option here. You want to uh, bring down this. We want to make the maximum to be 250. Okay, 250 instead of 300. Okay, and we want to leave the uh, the increment by 50 like that. So 0, 50, 100, 150, something like that. So we want to do the same thing for this. We want to actually make uh, the minimum of this to be minus uh, minus two i want to make i want to also make the maximum to be 24. uh of course the increment i want it to be in uh twos let me see how it's going to look like in twos i think i'm, I'm okay with this it's, it's beautiful so from minus two it's going to get to 24 for the temperature okay so which is good so which means that the axis for the temperature is at the right okay so the next thing we want to do, we want to give this some appropriate uh, uh, chart, uh, the second axis, okay, we've done that. So we want to give it some, so we've scaled it also. So label 
I want to scale with um, giving the temperature levels and then um, we've scaled it as appropriate so the next thing we want to do we want to label the chart actually okay so I want to label the chart so the title of the chart should be comparison of rainfall and temperature okay and temperature temperature the spelling is wrong uh, comparison uh, comparison to oh my god what am i doing okay of temperature in town a so this is okay this is appropriate okay so i want to increase these charts a little further okay so i want to have more um, axis so i want to click on this axis so i want to have this uh this will be for the rainfall axis so uh, i want to have a cumulative cumulative rainfall in milli millimeter millimeters okay i hope i'm correct with that uh the next one will be so this here will be dates just dates down here at the horizontal axis so i want to have here as average temperature average daily temperature yeah average daily temperature temperature i might always put an r or something okay so i think uh, that's about it mm, what else are, are we forgetting let me look at the question again uh add a second value axis okay so everything is done uh appropriate okay so we're good with that so that's about it um so don't forget to save your work as task 16f all right so thank you so much i will see you in the next one